Aloha and welcome to Wear TV Hawaii. I'm Paul Drews and we want to show you some of the fun things happening this week on Oahu. If you've been looking for something special to do with your sweetheart, Hawaii is the perfect place. Now many come to the islands to get married or have their honeymoon, but this week Hawaii is also a great place to get ideas for that special ceremony. The World Class Wedding Expo will be happening on May 29th and 30th at the Hawaiian Convention Center and will feature wedding ideas along with the latest for the big day. From cakes to pictures to wedding party gifts, you'll find hundreds of vendors showcasing the hottest items and services for brides and grooms. Along with the products, there'll be fashion shows, giveaways and music for this two-day event. And if you're planning or thinking about a Hawaiian wedding, stop in to talk with the local experts about planning the perfect ceremony in paradise. Tickets to the World Class Wedding Expo are $7, and it takes place on Friday and Saturday, May 29th and 30th. The convention center is found at the entrance to Waikiki, just off Kapi'olani Boulevard. Happening the same weekend is Undivided, a hip-hop movement. This is the first hip-hop international convention of its kind in Hawaii. Over two days, experts in emceeing, breakdancing, graph writing and DJ will not only showcase their talents but also teach people about the business. Take part in workshops or watch the battles and competitions. There's also an art gallery and live art demonstrations. It's an event for all hip-hop enthusiasts of all ages and cultures and provides opportunities, artful direction and creative inspiration for youth and young adults getting into the hip-hop field. The action takes place at the Neil Blaisdell Exhibition Hall on Ward Avenue about a 10-minute drive from Waikiki. To find out more about the Hip Hop Expo, call 808-356-3878. And the fair is back in town. Now, Hawaii doesn't have any amusement parks, so many look forward to the 50th State Fair at Aloha Stadium. Their rides have been set up for kids and adults, from exciting ones for the thrill-seekers to family-friendly rides. There's also shows and other activities happening at this big event that draws thousands each year. It happens on Friday evening from 6 to midnight, Saturday and Sunday from noon to midnight. Now, along with the rides, there'll also be carnival games and plenty of food. And along with the usual state fair food, you'll also find uniquely Hawaiian creations like malasadas, a fried and sugary donut that's delicious hot out of the oven. Aloha Stadium is found about 30 minutes from Waikiki, just off of the H1 freeway. Just head westbound and follow the signs to the stadium. Well, no doubt you've seen the surfers in the waters of Waikiki, and some are just learning, while others are very experienced watermen or women. And if you'd like to paddle out and catch a wave, it's not as hard as you might think. Anyone can learn how to surf, and one of the best ways to learn is from the Beach Boys of Waikiki. Now, back in the golden days of Waikiki, the Beach Boys ruled the beach. During the day, they'd take tourists out for canoe rides or surf lessons. Then at night, they'd play music, sing, and dance the night away. And they're still out there teaching everyone to surf. And if you'd like to hit the water with them, you do need to know how to swim. But rest assured, all the Beach Boys are licensed lifeguards. You'll find all the Beach Boys stands along the stretch of Waikiki Beach. Or head to the beach on May 30th and 31st and see some of the island's up-and-coming young surfers shred the waves at the TNC Surfer Magazine Grom Contest. There'll be a cakey surf contest, that's the contest for the kids, along with a board stories expression session. You can also see tandem surfing that will be held as part of this popular event at the beach. You'll be amazed at the level of talent from these young rippers this weekend. So come down and cheer on your favorites. The action happens at Queen Surf Beach, right near Duke Statue. Look for the tents and the young surfers in the water. And if you're heading out to Waikiki on May 30th, head down to Kalakaua Avenue for the Honolulu Pride Parade. This annual event is sponsored by parents and friends of lesbians and gays. This is a fun, festive parade, so come out and see floats, bands, and plenty of people marching down Waikiki. This parade starts at Ala Moana Beach Park, just outside of Waikiki, and wraps up at Kapiolani Park. This is a huge parade that starts at 9.30 Saturday morning, and the event wraps up around noon. While there is a lot of fun things to watch, just a reminder, if you're going to be driving around at that time, there will be some traffic delays or lane closures because of the parade. Now, every night of the week, there are entertaining stage shows in Waikiki from musical groups like the Society of Seven, world-renowned for their impressions, humor, and high-energy show, or the Magic of Polynesia, which features masterful illusions that will keep you on the edge of your seat or check out a stage show happening this week just outside of Waikiki at the Diamond Head Theater. 
found on the slopes of Diamond Head, you'll find a pair of dirty, rotten scoundrels. This stage production is based on the 1988 popular film about two men living on the French Riviera. They each make their living swindling people out of money, but the town isn't big enough for both of them, so they make a deal. Another swindle to see who stays and who goes. This is a hilarious competition, or should I say con-petition, that'll keep you laughing and guessing until the very end. The show wraps up on Saturday, May 30th, and if you'd like ticket information or directions to the theater, call the box office at 733-0274. Now, along with all the shows, sun and surf while you're here, you may also want to get in some shopping. Waikiki is filled with stores packed with everything you could want. From t-shirts to high-end fashion, you'll find it in Waikiki. But if you'd like to hunt for hidden treasures, you may want to go to the Waioli Tea Room in Manoa. On Friday and Saturday, the 29th and 30th, they'll be holding their vintage spring sale and have up for sale vintage items of shabby chic, Victorian, and country styles. From furniture to pottery to clothes and much more. Head to Manoa and see what you may discover at this two-day sale. The Waioli Tea Room is located on Manoa Road, about a 20-minute drive from Waikiki. Call 226-3526 to find out more. And if you head to any of these activities, take along your Best of Oahu book, because with it, you can save a bundle of cash or get free souvenirs during your trip. In the back of the book, there are coupons for a number of popular activities, restaurants, and attractions. And if you're having trouble deciding what to do while you're here, take a look in the book. There is so much to see and do. And to make it easy for you to figure out what to pack in your vacation, each book is divided into sections of activities, shops, and restaurants. It's like having your own local tour guide in your back pocket. And best of all, it's free. Get your best of Oahu in your hotel lobby. Well, we've got a warm week of weather ahead with temperatures climbing up into the mid to upper 80s. And our trade winds will be on the light side. Waikiki will have mostly sunny skies, but there will be a few more clouds over the mountains and the eastern side of the island, known as the windward side. It's always a good idea to put on sunscreen while you're here, and be sure to use a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 25. If you're up early, the sun will rise around 5.50 in the morning, and the sun will set around 7.10 in the evening. And if you're going to be hitting the beach, the waves will be on the fun size for Waikiki. On several days, waves could even get up to 5 or 6 feet. That's head high for most surfers. And northern beaches will also see some surf this week. Now, if you do hit the waves and you're unsure of your abilities or of the surf itself, don't go in. Just enjoy the waves from the safety of the shore. And always ask a lifeguard for conditions at each beach. Thanks for tuning in to Wear TV Hawaii. We hope you have a fun time during your stay. And if you missed any of these upcoming events, you can see this broadcast again approximately every two hours throughout the day. And if you like this vintage-looking Aloha-style print, check out an original Kalakaua creation. They're found around the island in various Oahu stores or head to their website listed on the screen for more information. I'm Paul Drews. Thanks for watching and Aloha.